Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. O, and this is a very big chili plant. Today I want to show you how to grow chilies, or really almost any plant, just using one Watson's water bottle. Now, whether or not you actually like to eat chilies, I really like to eat chilies. You can still have a great deal of fun growing them. This is one that I have been growing for a few months. You can see it's pretty tall and we've got some lovely big chilies on here already. I believe these are Japanese kind of sweet chilies. You can also see that there are lots of flowers, these lovely white flowers on the top. And before you all go, <laughs> flowers, the flowers are what make the chilies grow. That is one of the most exciting parts. I'll show you about that a little bit later. The other thing that I want to show you today is that you can make something pretty special just using recycled materials. So, here is what you need. One Watson's water bottle. The bigger, the better. If possible, get one that's already been used. Don't buy a new one. You should try not to use any plastic bottles. Some soil. A craft knife. Something pointy. And a mat to work on. Don't get any of these things without a grown up. You will also need some water, uh, seeds. You can buy these from the shop. This pack cost me uh, just $30, or you can get them out of a chili. But if you do it that way, be careful because, of course, chilies are very hot. They can hurt your skin, and your, especially your eyes. Ask a grown-up to help you if you are getting seeds out of chilies. You also need some sticky tape or something that you can write on, stick on and write on. A pen. And a poo. Wait a minute, you don't need a... For the first step, we will need to remove the uh, plastic lid. There are two lids in a Watson's water bottle. Uh, there's the plastic, white plastic lid inside, and then there's the sort of cup-shaped lid on the outside. We need to remove this white one. It's not very easy. Ask a grown-up to help you, okay? Go and do that now. Grown-ups, if you're helping now, uh, put the lid back on the bottle, screw it down a little bit, not all the way, so that it just stays on. You should then be able to pull it off from the side and it comes off quite nicely. Take off the lid and you can put it to one side for now. We also don't really need this. This comes off quite easily. fairly easily, somewhat easily, not easily at all. To tell you the truth, I don't really have a use for this plastic film. If you can think of one, let me know. Otherwise, maybe stick it inside another bottle and recycle everything. I'm going to take my bottle and the lid and put it aside for now. We don't need it just yet. Okay, take your cup lid. I've removed the sticker and place it on your cutting mat. This is the point where you need an adult to come and help you. Go and get a grown up to help you with this bit. Take your pointy thing. This is part of a screwdriver set that I have. Make sure that you're holding at the sides as far away as you can from the top. 
get it in position, take this hand away and push it down to make a nice even hole. Same thing again, keeping my fingers right out of the way of this. Do four or five going around in a circle. Doesn't matter too much. All right, so I've got holes around the bottom and a few at the side as well. We will need this again later, so let's put it aside for now. When you grow plants from seeds, it's best to start them off in something small and then, as we say, transplant them later, which just means kind of dig them up or pick them up from the soil and put them into the big thing where they will grow. That is why we can use this straight away. So let's get some soil going. This is now a very nice starter pot for our chili plant. Once you have got your soil in, you can add some water. You need quite a lot, but don't add it too fast. So a lot, but put it in slowly. Now, we need to plant our seeds. You can make a little hole with your little finger. Doesn't need to be very big. Probably just about the length of the top of your finger. I'm going to put in six. I mean, four or five or six is more than enough. Leave it in the sunshine. Make sure that it has a little water every day. If you can, water it at the bottom and let it suck the water up and wait for it to grow. Now, when I grew this chili plant, I wanted to grow it so that I could look at the roots growing down. I wanted to have the water at the bottom so that it would soak upwards. You want the roots to grow down to the water because anything that happens underground will happen overground. So if the roots are strong underground, then the plant will be strong overground. So you really want to get your roots growing downwards. Um, I also, to be honest, I'm a little bit lazy and I didn't want to be watering this all the time. So I wanted to have my water supply there. So, you know, if I forget on one day, it doesn't matter too much, it can still grow. On the other hand, I, I didn't want to have any standing water. Now in Hong Kong, we need to be careful about mosquitoes and mosquitoes will lay their eggs in standing water. Standing water is just where the water is there, not moving, not being cleaned up for a long time. And it's not very nice. The good thing about this system is that the water is inside, but it's kind of trapped inside by the top part of the plant, of the pot. Let me show it to you. This is also another great reason to use one of these Watson bottles because they actually close up rather nicely. So I can lift it out carefully. Okay. And it's just kind of lucky that it fits perfectly like that. It's a good seal and there's no chance of any mosquitoes getting in there and laying their eggs. So let's make this part. You will need your Big Watson's water bottle. Remember, bigger ones are better. You can do it with small ones, but I just found that this matches up really nicely. And you will need your cutting mat for safety. Anytime you're dealing with something sharp or something pointy, you need to have a grown-up with you, okay? So, first of all, let's prepare the cap. This cap will be upside down in the water and it will suck the water up inside, so it needs some holes in it. And we can 
Make them carefully, get it in position, get your hand out of the way. There's one hole, there's the next. I've got eight holes in the bottom here. Looking quite good to me. This next part is the most dangerous part. Please get a grown up to help you with this. Grown ups, now I hope you're watching. Um, you can take your craft knife and you want to cut here. This is, there are lots of little grooves. You need to cut in the last one before the bottle becomes smooth and regular again. Okay, keep your hands as far away from the blade as possible. Cut away from your body. Now I'm actually holding the blade still and I'm moving the bottle. Trying to cut in a straight line, it's not very easy. Actually it doesn't matter too much. You can now screw this back on. It doesn't need to be too tight, but why not? Put it on nice and tight. And that is your basic setup. This is brilliant because as long as you're careful, you won't get any water coming outside. It's a nice thing to have in your home if you need to keep it clean. And as I say, this top groove here fits to the side rather nicely. To help with drainage, you can get some little stones. I got these from Japan Home Store. And they will fill up the cap area. Then we can put in a little soil. Let's put in a little bit. Now remember, I said we want the roots to grow down. We really want them to be going down as deep as they can. If, they, if the roots are strong, then the plant will be strong. So I'm going to put a little bit of plant food. This is granule fertilizer, also from Japan Home Store. I'm just going to put a little tiny amount in the bottom here, like 10 little pieces. Um, it's kind of smelly, but that's the way it is. So I'll just make sure there's a little hole, put in a little bit of this, and we're ready to go. Now all of that last bit is optional. If you don't or can't buy the stones or the fertilizer, you don't really need it. The plant will grow happily without it. However, you do need to, whatever you do, you need to fill up your plant pot with soil. I'm not gonna fill it all the way up to the top. I'm gonna go up to this, this first groove, this first line from the top. Um, sometimes I find that your plants, when you grow them like this, they can be a little weak at the bottom. So later on I can add some more soil and that should make it a bit stronger. Let's not waste any soil. Let's sweep all of this in. Oops. There we go. Add a little bit of water in the top. You'll notice this is from another bottle. I find the Bon Aqua bottles are a bit better for being a bit squeezy. Then we just need to add our seedling. So I did this before and I have this little seedling that has started to grow. You can see it there. You need to take it out quite carefully. So. Some people say that you should only use a pencil or something. I think if you're really careful and you grasp it with enough of the soil underneath, it will go in quite safely. Pack it down, it's almost ready to go. The last step is to fill up the bottom with soil. Now this will balance just be careful. I found that um, there's some kind of teardrops on the side of this bottle. 
If you can fill it up halfway up the teardrop, that's normally just about right. There, just about right. And there we are. Leave it to grow. And with a bit of luck, it will go from here to here. To here. And I'll see you next time.